Good morning, it's 7.15am and I'm with Natalie. Divine Natalie, morning. there she is. And we're going to do a workout, um, which we tried to do on Friday or, yeah. or something, and it, it didn't, um, it didn't um, upload. But we've got a few more interesting things because we went to Amazon, or they came to us, mm -hmm. and we've got our home gear workout. So we're going to take you through that first, then take you through a sort of five minute warm up, a, yeah. a five or ten minute um, tummy. So you can take little bits of this routine, or all of it, um, and do it. We thought that was just quite easy, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to look first at, let me just turn it around. Turn it around. So equipment that we're using, and you can get any of this. And we have used towels and things until we got this. Uh -huh. But what can they substitute today? And what are we? Who are we using? Okay, so we've got gliders. Yeah. Um, we were using towels for this. So if you've got a wooden floor, you can use towels. But gliders, uh, they're slide on anything. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll use those today. Yeah. Um, there's a band here. So for your warm up, the glute work. Um, yeah, any warm up exercise, yeah. and you can also use it for upper body too. Uh -huh. A long band for rows and deadlifts. Okay. Um, to work the arms and the back. There's a Pilates ball here, which is great for core work, um, and also you can get a nice stretch in it for your chest. Yeah. Lots of different exercises with that. Okay. We've got uh, dumbbells here. You can buy just those off Amazon, can't you? Yeah, yeah. easy. What is posture control, I saw? Yes, well, I actually didn't get this. I don't oh, know where it's, okay, maybe know where it's come from. But... All right, that's some totally <laughs> random thing that we got. All right, fine. Maybe it I came can... for free after you've done all those things. <laughs> but we can use, you can use anything at home. We have done that, Natalie, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. But um, should we start off? We're going to start off yeah. now with some warm-ups. Okay, so Trini, you're going to I'm, lie down. Yeah, I'm just going to start off by those following for the first time. Is that I have only started really exercising in the last month because I just gave up smoking and I want to get fit. So I'm not a Davina McCall here. I'm not going to be an exercise fanatic. It's just a little routine, Natalie and I doing, that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. Take with you anywhere, anytime. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Lying down. Yeah. Always important to start off with some mobility, especially if you've just woken up. You want to get your spine nice and mobile. So bring your arms out into what I like to call the cactus position. So your arms are going to be bent with your palms turned up to the sky. Good. Cross your right leg over your left leg. Lift your legs up a little bit and lower them to the left. That's it. And you want to press this right press. arm down. I'm quite, because I good. sleep quite curled up at night, so this is a really good arm, you know, it's kind of whole shoulder body awakener for me. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. So you're also getting a bit of mobility through the spine. There's a slight twist through the thoracic spine, which is going to be a nice stretch. And the glutes are going to be stretched out a little bit as well with the legs crossed. Uncross the legs, you're going to switch to the other side. Good, lower them down. Okay. So do we, do we only lower them as far as our thing go? Or do we lower exactly. them and then try and push down our arm? You want to lower the legs and then try and push down the arm a little bit more. Lift your legs a little yeah. to, closer to your um, right arm. Yeah. Good. And you want to be looking to your left arm. Take some nice deep breaths in, and I'm just going to help you with this one. Press the arm down a little bit. Good. Okay, Trini, bring yourself back to the centre. Yeah. I want you to give the knees a hug and rock from side to side. Good. Okay. Right. Now, we're going to start off with the, with the ab work. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to fire up the abs first, because then they function properly for the rest of the workout. So it's a Tabata ab work, which means it's four minutes all together, 20 seconds of work versus 10 seconds of rest, and you're going to do two different exercises back to back. So the first exercise, I want you to place your hands behind your head. Have your feet down nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath in, then exhale, lift your chest. Just the chest, so your chin comes down and the chest comes up, good. And then inhale, relax back. And you're going to go for a one after the other, partial crunch, and this is gonna fire up the top of your abdominals. So going up and down, I'm breathing out, so at the top I breathe in. You, when you lift your chest, you exhale, otherwise, because your spine is flexing and you're closing the gap between your ribs and your pelvis, so you want to exhale them. So, That's yeah, it. All the way down. Yep, and one more, rest for a second. The next exercise is a low boat hold, or a hollow hold, so your hands come next to your hips, your legs are going to extend out in front of you and you're going to lift your chest. Let's go. 20 seconds, palms turned up to the sky, shoulders set down, and I'm just going to check that Trini's lower back is right down on the mat. That's really important for your lower back health. 
otherwise it can be a little bit uncomfortable on that lumbar spine. Keep holding Trini, lift the chest a little bit higher and rest for 10 seconds. Okay, so if you are doing this at home, just set a timer for four minutes and you do eight rounds all together. Okay, let's go partial crunches again, little pulses up to the sky, so you're gonna lift. Good, make sure that chin comes down first so you don't strain the neck. Good, and then you lift. And I'm really trying to feel it here, aren't I? Exactly, and if you bring the belly button down a little bit, you're gonna feel it even more. Good, okay. Are there any exercises to help with a menopausal stomach? Well, Trini is currently doing the exercise. <laughs> I have a menopausal so stomach. <laughs> Although Trini is in great shape and she's in much better shape now she's been training regularly. Even in a month, ladies, I'm stage 55. I've really no stiff. I've gone three times a week and I'm not jogging or anything. I'm just really toning my body and it's, it's suddenly kicking in, I think. Yeah. One more. Rest for a second. Okay. Get ready for that hollow hold. I want you to extend those legs, lift your chest, turn your palms up to the sky. See if you can get your legs a little bit lower this time, Trini. Challenge yourself. Good. Um, can you do leg raises if you have a clunky left hip? Um, I think it's probably tight hip flexors, so stretch your hip flexors if you're doing leg raises and always make sure your lower back is down if you're, doing the, uh, if you're lying down. Um, you want to be working in imprint spine. What I feel also helps me is really tensing my leg because yeah. I feel it pushes my spine in more. So if I'm my legs are a bit soft, I feel I can feel the arc. But if I'm really focusing on tensing my thigh and, and stretching out the leg, I feel my, my um, spine go back into the floor, which I want to do. Okay, going to relax for a second, Trini. You feel the build-up now. I don't know if anyone's doing it with us, but suddenly now I'm feeling... Yes, Whoa! you will. Whoa! Hands behind your head. Let's go. Little yes. crunches up. Good. Yes, Inhale. <laughs> Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good. One more, Trini, and then rest for a second. Good. Have a rest for a second. Come into your low boat hold in three, two, one. Let's go. Hold it. Good. Lower those legs a little bit more. You're going to be feeling that burn now. Deep breaths. Perfect. Draw the belly button down a little bit. So you're firing up the stomach even more. Good. Hold it for three. For two, one, and rest for a second. Okay, you've got one more of each okay. of these, okay? You can let's do it. Please, let's do it. Think of the flat stomach. Think of that tone. Think of nearly a six pack. Hands behind your head. Let's go. Little pulses up. You're going to lift. Lower, lift. Lower each time. Try and lift the chest a little bit higher. You're sliding your ribs towards your pelvis. Lower back is down. Nice. Okay, one more. And rest for a second. Good. Okay. Last time holding that hollow hold. It's going to be a tough one. See if you can get your legs a little bit lower, Trini. Going in three, two, one, and go. Reach those arms forward. Set the shoulders down. Draw the belly button down. Tuck those hips in. And rest completely. Give those knees a big hug. Rock from side to side. Oh, yeah. Okay, that really... That, even if you just do that by yourself, I really feel my stomach just... If you, there was a nurse on Thursday, wasn't there, on Wednesday, who said, I don't have time to exercise in the morning. Do that for five minutes. Yeah. It's something to build up to. All of these you can build up to. Exactly. Okay, okay on to the next exercise. We're going to go for some banded glute work. Lovely. So, Which one there? let's go for this one. You're going okay. to put it around your knees, or just above your knees, Trini. This is thicker than the one we used before. It is a bit thicker yeah, because it's easier to easy put to on. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. We, had I, a very, we had this one before, which is fine. So if you travel a lot, these are great, which also we got on Amazon. Yeah. But they get a bit caught up in your, in your leg. So I'm loving the fact we got this one on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. right, what I want you to do mm -hmm. is some side walks. Mm -hmm. You're going to push the hips back so you're in a squat stance. Yep. Hips are right back. You're gonna to walk towards the uh, doors yep. and then walk back to where you are. Really pushing those knees out to the side. Keep pushing those knees out. Place the hands in front of your chest and I want you to activate your back muscles. So you're gonna bring those shoulders right back. Good, and then walk back the other way towards the equipment. Now this is a great way to fire up the glutes 
the legs a little bit and you're also working, you probably feel the core working a little bit because you're always engaging it with everything that you do. And because you just did those ab exercises, it's going to be on fire. And I think it's that thing for me, because I have slightly weak knees, it's really helping to strengthen my knees. And exactly. Keep and walk back the other way. So yeah, this one, if you're strengthening the muscles surrounding your hips, you will be strengthening your knees. Okay, I want you to hold there now, Trini. Hold a squat for a second. You're going to come into squats now. Take a deep breath in, lower, then exhale, stand all the way up, squeeze the glutes. Lower and lift. And this one, I put my palms at facing outwards. So exactly, and I get I you. I used to do that. Yeah. And then you told me to do, sorry, let me get my red technique again, to do that, and it yeah. really helps me straighten up. Yeah, so if, Trini, if you do the first one again where you've yeah, had your that. palms back, you can see Trini's shoulders inwardly yeah. rotated. That's not so good. Now if you do the second one, pull back, and her, and her shoulders outwardly rotated, her back is more fired up as well. Right, you're going to do another three. Should these be fast or slow? Uh, the, for the first round, go slow. Work on control, work on precision in your movement. Hold your next squat. Go, to push my knees out. Really pushing the knees out, as we can see here. Feel that on that. <clears throat> you want to get that tight, nice line there. That, exactly. Yeah. Now, wise with the arms to warm up the shoulder girdle. You're going to inhale, bring the arms down. Exhale, lift the arms. You want to bring them just wider than shoulder width. Thumbs are turned up to the sky. And when you lift the arms, you set your shoulders down, which is going to activate your back muscles, particularly those sort of lower trapezius muscles. And if you get neck strain or you're really tight through the shoulders, this is a good one for you. Try and lift the arms a little higher, Trini. You're here for another three repetitions. Two, push those knees out, fill the glutes. One more. Good, and stand for a second. Okay, I want you to keep that band on. There's another yeah. exercise just to intensify the glute burn. Let's intensify. I want you to turn to face me. Hold a squat, feet forwards. You're going to go for the um, yeah. unilateral knee kick. So you're going to kick that right knee out. Good. Ten times, seven, six, fast on the way out, more uh, controlled on the way in. Three, two, one, switch sides. And the reason we're doing this is to really activate the glute medius, the muscles surrounding the hips. Let's go training on the left. Good for eight and seven. You can buy that band on Amazon. There are so many. Just pick one, go for a nice heavy resistance. Three, two, one, and stand. Okay, right, you can take that band off. Right, we're ready for your, for your um, little plank series to really get the upper body fired up. I want you to stand yeah. Oh, roll like down. So yes. Okay, you're going to roll down one vertebra at a time. So you get that back moving. Walk your hands out into a plank. Squeeze the glutes and then walk your hands back to your feet. Can Trini, I, yeah. well, I was going to say, why do you like these? Well, I like these because it's a definition to me of how I'm getting fitter. Because when I started them, I got so out of breath after literally one. And when I was holding like this, I could hardly hold. This was three and a half weeks ago. And now I feel I could hold a bit down there, even though this is a dynamic exercise to just, it's sort of like, it reminds me of sun salutations, which I always loved in yoga, I didn't like much else. But it's the fact that I'm moving and doing a plank. What's it good for? Though? Exactly, okay, right, I'll talk you through it. So for the, f for the first part of the movement, you're gonna reach those arms up to the sky, deep breath in, you're having a nice big stretch, you feel everything lengthen out, take a deep breath. Then you're going to nod the head and Trini's articulating the spine. So rolling down one vertebra at a time so you get the back moving, moving and then you're lengthening out the space between each vertebra so you're stretching the muscles. And then you stretch out the hamstrings a little bit and as you walk your hands out, you're going to be really challenging your obliques, your stomach, your triceps, your shoulders and your chest. So there's actually a lot going on, a lot of muscles are working here and it raises the heart rate a little bit as well. Um, Trini, just a note on plank technique. I'll yeah. show you an, in your next plank. Yeah. I want you to do one more and you're going to hold the plank, okay? Okay, so you're gonna walk those hands out and hold the plank. 
hips tucked in and actually instead of dipping between the shoulders, I want you to round the back so you're protracting. Perfect, you saw that correction there. That's gonna stabilize her shoulders, meaning she can work the back a little more and hold the plank for longer. Lift the hips a little bit and you're gonna tuck them in a little bit too. Squeeze the glutes. Okay, holding for three, two, one. Walk your hands back to your feet and slowly roll up. Lift your arms to the sky. Have a nice big stretch. Okay, and you're ready to get on to your first set of exercises. First set, you see, I thought we'd started already. That's well, what she always says, first <laughs> set of exercises. Okay, well, that's yep. kind of a warm-up. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, so first. I want you to pick up that six kilogram dumbbell. Yeah. So, and you're like, good, right. Hold it right in front of the chest. We're going to go into something called goblet squats. So you hold the, the you basically holding the weight as if it's a goblet. You need to have this sense so the packaging isn't expensive because six kilograms is a lot. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Okay, so yeah, you, I think you've had it for years. Yeah. You actually can go into Sports Direct. Decathlon and is amazing for sporting. Decathlon is amazing, like the most amazing place. Every single sports you can imagine a really good price. It's French. I just discovered it. Yeah. <gasps> it's great. They have yeah. every dumbbell there and it's yeah. so cheap. Okay, so turn those toes out a little bit so you can go deeper in your squat. Yeah. Take a deep breath in, push your hips back. You're, you're going to do 10 repetitions. Drive up through the heels. No, um, so you, we're going to do a few front on so I can so, show yeah. people your knees. So as you can see, Trini really is working on pushing her knees out. That is firing up her glutes a lot more. Now, Trini, if you turn side on, we can see your technique from the side. Get those shoulders back, please. Good. And you're really shooting the hips back with this one. And you can see that the weight is right through her heels. Now, this is very good squat technique. It's like I'm keeping my toes even off the floor. Yes, yeah, so you can keep them off the floor a little bit just to give you a nice cue. If you're new to squatting, that's a really good idea. Then once you get into it a little more, you can have your feet flat. And every time you squat, try and get a little bit lower. The lower you go, the more your butt is going to fire up, which is what you want from fire a squat. Butt. <laughs> Last two. Good, and one more. Perfect, stand. You're going to place that weight down on the ground. Just squat down to place it down so you don't hurt your yeah. back. And the next exercise is going to be a glute bridge. So we're going to just work the legs, first okay. of all. So this can be your leg workout. Yeah. Bring that uh, step down, uh, please, Trini. And we're going to work the inner thighs at the same time. Oh, no, I need to, I need to blow up the ball for that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get you into some glute yeah. bridges and then I'm going to uh, and I'm going to blow up the ball. And then I can just do it, yeah. Yeah, exactly, just, right. Okay, okay. Heels on the bench. Yeah. Tuck your hips in. Like on the bench like that? Or um, on the like corner that, of the, the corner, bench, yeah. which you is a little easier. You can do this on a step in your house if you haven't got, you know, a, a bench. Because a bench is not the easiest thing to come across, but a step, yeah? Absolutely. A step, you can even have your feet flat on the ground, but this is easier because you get the glutes firing a little more because you're lifting more of your body weight up. Now, as you inhale, tuck your hips in. I'm just going to show here. And then articulate your spine one vertebra at a time. Good. And then roll down from your shoulders back to your tailbone. And you want to create that nice flat line from the stomach through the hips to the knees, which is what Trini's doing. There's no arching of her lower back, so she's got perfect form. Yes. Perfect form, 10 out of 10. I want to be the top of the class. It's not often I am. <laughs> You're, you are the top of the class today, oh, it's Trini. It's easy today. Phoebe's not here and nobody's here. <laughs> I want you to go for another three repetitions. Good. Bring the knees in a little bit. Yeah. Try and keep them completely parallel. Two. One more, you hold that next one. Hold it. I want you to go for pulses now, little pulses, up an inch, down an inch, really working on the glutes. And um, I've said before, but I love pulses because it's a way of challenging your muscles. They work harder without adding weight or anything too complicated. Do you feel those glutes working? I do, I, and the glute just for those of you, because for me, whenever someone says what do you, I mean what? I mean this whole area here. Your bum. Yeah, your bum. I mean, I love those technical names, but when people say, <laughs> Cooper's Mactinus and the Mophilus Lotlus, and I'm like, 
Which part of my body do you actually mean? What are you talking about? I know, and I always talk in technical terms. Okay, and hamstrings too, so that's the back of the leg, the muscles at the back of the leg. Three, two, one, and roll down. Give those yeah, knees a that. hug. Rock from side to side, that's going to release your back. Okay, and as a rest for your legs, I'm going to get you to hold a plank because I don't really do rest that much for Trini. You're welcome. Right, so forearms down. In fact, can you put your forearms on the mat? So just turn sideways. If you turn sideways, because then I can show people your plank form. Um, turn around, to, so your feet are here but your forearms are on the mat. Got it. That's it, got it, we got that. Right. I'm doing this kind of time. Exactly, right, legs out, hips tucked in. Lower the hips a little bit. Lift your upper mid back to the sky. And Trini's been working on her planks. Before, she was only able to hold about 20 seconds. And I'm not joking, about six weeks ago, now she can pretty much hold a whole minute, which is incredible. So I'm, I am super impressed with um, how far Trini's it's come. It's still difficult though, but it's not like that I want to collapse immediately. No. Tuck those hips in please, Trini. it's remembering breathing. Yep, you've got to breathe. Never hold your breath in exercise. It's the worst thing you can do. Your muscles need oxygen for fuel. Tuck your hips in a little bit. And everything is working here. Her quadriceps are working, her, her butt is working, abdominals, the deep abdominals, the surface abdominals, her Go shoulders, me. her triceps. Lift that up and mid back a little more. Tuck those hips in a little more. Deep breaths. You're here for another 15 seconds, Trini. If you need to rest, if you want to do it for a minute, you can rest within that time if you are holding a plank at home. But work on it. Start with 20 seconds, then go to 30 seconds. You are three, two, one, and oh. rest. That was a 60 second plank. That was amazing. Now you're going to just mobilize that I'm back. I'm watching my three minute planks and I take my hat off to them. But I literally could only do 20 seconds. But that was a minute plank. Yes. Okay. Right, Trini, we're going to go back to your leg exercises. Okay. I want you to pick up the weight. Have a sip of water, that's important. Stay hydrated. Um, and just a note on picking up weights, yes, like this. you squat down, pick it up, lift with your legs and with your back, don't round your back. Good. Okay. Toes slightly turned out. Shoulders set back. Inhale, push those hips right back, get nice and low to the ground and drive up, tuck the hips in, squeeze your butt. Good. This so time, down, yes, so this time I'm going to say I want you to lower for three seconds. So you lower three, two, one, drive fast, squeeze the glutes. Now that is challenging your muscles a little more. So when you go, it's called eccentric. Hot. <laughs> right. Right, back into those squats. Slowly lower. Three, two, one, stand. You'd be holding. Like Bette Midler in that film, a paint pot. Just yeah. something like a, a heavy bottle. Anything. Yeah. If, you've got, if you've got children, if you've got little ones, loads of my clients hold their babies. You've got a moving weight there. You've got a good, good weight if you're holding a little one. One more. Good. And stop. Okay, you're going to place that, ba that um, weight down and you're going to glute bridges. Right, oops, I want you to tuck your hips in mm -hmm. and lift your hips one vertebra at a time up to the sky. Then you're going to hold there, okay? Little pulses into that ball now. Really squeeze those inner thigh muscles. And I love this exercise because you're working the inner thighs, the back of the legs mm -hmm. at the same time and your stomach a little bit. B pull the belly button down and lift your arms. So let's just see what Trini's doing here. She's really... Pushing that ball, little movements, push, 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 good. Do you feel the inner thighs beginning to fire up? I sure do, honey. Excellent. You're going for another five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You're going to roll down. Good. Take that ball away. Plank time. So forearms on your mat, feet on the ground. You're going to... Extend the legs, nice and straight, tuck those hips in. Squeeze the glutes, lower the hips a little bit, Trini. You want your hips to be in line with your shoulders and your head to be also in line with your shoulders so your spine is perfectly neutral. Okay, keep going, keep going, Trini. You're here for another three, two, one, oh. and rest. 
perfect. Right, mobilize that spine. You're going to do a last set. I like to do things in threes. Shoulders back. Trini, pick up that weight properly, please. Thank you. Right, hold it right in front of the chest. Take one step forward, turn the toes out a little bit. Good, right. Inhale, push back, push those hips back. Drive up fast, squeeze the glutes. How, how have your knees been today? How are they feeling? Okay, better than yeah? before. I think they're getting stronger. Yes, because you, you're holding a six kilogram dumbbell, heaviest we've done so far. I press, I, I breathe out when I come up, don't I? Yeah. Good. Inhale, lower, exhale, drive up. Keep the weight right in front of the chest. Slow on the way down, lower three, two, one, and drive up. Good, squeeze those glutes. Did, Trini, did you have breakfast before? I had the um, Vivian Tiles mat, platinum powder in water, and it's given me great energy, boosting my collagen as I work. One more. Stand, good, you're going to squat all the way down, put the weight on the ground. Perfect, right, let's go. Um, glute bridges, last time using the ball. Good, okay. Place this between the knees, heels on the bench. Good. And now let's go, lift those arms to the sky, that's gonna challenge your core strength a little more. Good. Lift, squeeze the ball the whole time. Keep working those inner thighs. Okay, hold it. I want you to do 10 little pulses up with the glutes. 10, nine, really squeeze oh, those inner it, thighs. Feeling it, feeling it. Squeeze those knees together oh. even more. I want you to squash that oh. ball. Three, two, one, roll down. Take that ball away, oh give the knees gosh. a hug, rock from side to side. If you have got bad knees, glute bridges is what you want to be doing. You need to strengthen your hamstrings because if your quads are dominant or the front of the leg is dominant, that's when you can get some knee issues going on okay plank time last time hold that plank so the upper body and the abs are working okay hips tucked in lift your upper mid back to the sky good nice deep breaths timer is on we're gonna do it for 60 seconds Trini you're 10 seconds in lift that upper mid back a little more lift the belly button by the time Trini's finishing this plank, she would have done three minutes of planking in total, which is pretty impressive. Okay, yeah, those leg warm-ups, you've got to do them every time you do a leg workout. You need to fire up your glutes, otherwise they won't be working properly for the rest of your workout. Good one to do before you go for a walk or for a run. And rest. Perfect, right, flex that spine. Okay, it is 10 to 8. It's time to stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so the warm-up we did, yes, an everyday warm-up you can do every day. Flat. You are going to lie down flat. Oh, God. That's just the most joyous thing, lie down flat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to lengthen out your left leg. You're just going to place it under the... Or place your right foot under the bench so that right leg is straight. Does it fit? Does it fit? Oh, Hold gosh. on. You're going okay. to straighten that right leg. Take hold of the back of that left hamstring. Now inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, extend your leg. It's about getting really straight, isn't it? Exactly. And this is called an active stretch because you're moving with the stretch. And because you've got the resistance from your hands, your hamstrings stretch a little more. And I have to say, I think your flexibility has improved as well, Trini. Okay. Okay. Finally starts to shift it. Yeah, and now you're... month, ladies, that's not that long. One Why do you not lift up your, le your head for this out of interest? Okay, if you, for, you just try doing it and tell me what you think. Bend your knee and extend. It's a little easier for the hamstring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Going for another two. Um, intermit intermittent fasting is fantastic if you're a man. I don't recommend it if you are a woman because our hormones are very complicated and you should have a bit of fat and a bit of protein first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you'll release too much cortisol, which is a stress hormone, which can lead to weight gain. So that is my view yeah, on intermittent I love fasting. That, um, that whole thing you said because, like, now I'll have some salmon and spinach, which mm -hmm. is my kind of routine now. So that powder I have is just for me to do this exercise. Yeah. But I have been, you know, I put on quite a lot of weight, even though I'm 
you know, lie. I put on weight in menopause. I don't want to be as thin as I was before menopause, but I do know that that weight gain has been menopause and cortisol because I've had very stress, a lot of stress in the last two, three years that I thrive off, but it's done that. It's released that freeze your fat gene. It does. I mean, promote fat gene. Stress is one of the worst things for your body, so stress management is so important. Um, hold this next one. Three, two, one, and rest. Place that foot down. Okay, now what I want you to do is come into a hip flexor stretch. So you're going to turn over, you're going um, to come into a split knee position. So, I'll do it this way. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, tuck your hips in, squeeze your right glute. That's it. And extend your right arm up to the sky. Place your left hand on your hip. Good. And then you can lean over a little bit. Really push those hips forwards. If you sit at a desk, or any, actually everyone in the world should do a hip flexor stretch because tight hip flexors can lead to back pain, can lead to knee pain. Just make sure you're not leaning too much. You want this to be a little more Straight. central. Yeah. Nice deep breath. Um, food suggestions for post-workout. So you want to have some protein, some good fats. I like to include vegetables with every meal because then you know you're getting lots of nutrients. Um, and you can have some carbohydrates if you had a nice tough workout. Um, but for breakfast, Trini's having s salmon and, and broccoli some broccoli and spinach. Okay, I want you to come into a cat dog stretch now. So place your hands down, shoulders down. Good. Um, so can you exercise on an empty stomach? You can, if that feels good for you. I prefer to have a little something and I think... Even like banana, half a banana and some um, almonds. Just exactly. Something. Some, just something. And come to your neutral spine. Good, and walk your hands towards your feet. Come up onto your feet, slowly roll up, take a big stretch up to the sky. And now we're going to do that very important glute medius and piriformis stretch, the muscles surrounding your hip in oh, your yes. lower back okay, area. Like one, so have a seat on your, have a I seat on your, that we're gonna do this one first. These are good, I think it's as, I mean like if people feel I'm running out the door, I can't, um, I don't have time to, um, stretch, I think don't bother exercising if you can't make that time. It's like make your exercise five minutes less so that you stretch because the way that I think I give up exercise easily is I've, I've exercised, I don't stretch naturally and then I feel stiff and horrible and then I just don't have the inclination to go back. I don't think if you exercise properly you should feel stiff the next day. Maybe a little twinge in the tummy, in the bottom, but you know, you shouldn't feel really uncomfortable. No, absolutely. So you, for this stretch, I want you to keep your back nice and straight, and then you hinge forward, so you're pushing your hips back. The straighter your back is, the more you're going to feel this stretch through the glute area. And this is actually one you can do at your desk. If you're sat at a desk, it's really important to stretch out the glutes. It's gonna prevent your back from hurting, and actually uh, your knees as well. Okay, and switch sides. Hinge towards a little bit more, and... Really yeah, so you're a bit tighter on the right yeah. side. Yeah. Okay, we'll just hold it for a little longer. I take, think you would say, let's come out of it now. No, take in some nice deep breaths. Good, hold it for three, two, one, and uncross the leg. Now let's go into that IT band stretch. So cross one leg over the other. This is fantastic for the yeah. side of the leg. So simple, but really effective. Right, I want you to reach down for those toes. So because the leg is crossed over, you're gonna get more of a stretch through the side leg. Try and straighten your right leg, Trini. If it doesn't straighten, but you're still feeling the stretch, then that's absolutely fine because the stretch is effective. Never push too hard in your stretches. You can cause damage to your muscles. The only reason, by the way, I can put my hands on the ground, because some of you might be thinking I'm flexible, is because I have very short legs and very long arms. I think most people, if they're in proportion, might be here on this stretch and then slowly working their way to there. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is only that. And also, don't if you're if you're not particularly flexible right now, don't let that put you off any exercise or any stretching. Build up to it. Everyone has to start somewhere. Um, just five minutes a day. Include a couple of stretches because I did have some questions about that. Don't worry about if you're inflexible. Right, cross that left leg over. You're gonna reach down for the ground. So it's better to keep them straighter and not so tightly together. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, try to keep straight and don't worry if you can't touch the ground, that's fine. Or if you want to, if you need it for balance, you can slightly bend your knees. 
Good. You're inspiring a lot of people, Trini. Good. You inspire me, ladies. So if we can inspire each other, that's, that's our motivation, isn't it? Exactly. Hold it for three, two, one, and slowly roll up. Good. And across those legs. You're going to roll those shoulders back a couple of times. Good. And you are done. We did it, ladies. Okay. So I just want to say a big thank you to Natalie. Um, there she is, lovely Natalie. And we'll do another one, not next week, because I'm away. You are I'm right. Are you around the week after? I am indeed. We'll do it then. Easter okay. week. Easter yes. week, yes. Perfect. Post Easter chocolate workout. <laughs>